Okay, hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about home insulation, uh, the different types of home insulation and why it's important. So in this schematic here we can see uh, that heat is being lost from a house through various different places. You have your door, obviously you have gaps in your door because it needs to open and close and we have uh, energy being lost there. Through the windows as well, of course, depending on what type of windows they are. The roof, various levels of heat can be lost out of the roof. It just depends on how much insulation you have up there. And of course, through the walls. Now there are other ways of losing heat as well. So we've got down here, this 15% is just all other ways. But this gives you a good idea of where the main amount of heat is lost through a house. Now we're going to have a look at the different types of insulation which are going to try and reduce this. And the first one is, of course, loft insulation. Loft insulation. This is extremely important as you know, hot air rises and your loft and your roof are on the top of your house. And so this is a place where you can lose a lot of your heat. Okay, and this is often made from fiberglass. Fiberglass. Now this is a very good insulator and it slows down, of course, the rate of energy transfer. What also happens is the fiberglass will trap air. So the fiberglass traps air and this air also stops the rate of energy transfer by conduction. So it will reduce the amount of conduction because air is not a very good conductor of heat. Okay, next we have the walls. Obviously we can see that the main amount of heat is lost through the walls. And this is going to be combated using cavity wall. Cavity wall insulation. Now the way this works is that in a wall, a lot of the time you have bricks on one side and you have bricks on the other, and there's this gap in the middle. And obviously the gap, it can also be called a cavity. So what we do is we pump in insulating material into this cavity and that insulating material is a better insulator than the air that it's replaced. And so this provides, oh, that's an awful arrow. This provides extra insulation. Insulation. And as most of the air has escaped and been trapped, so air gone or trapped. This also removes or limits convection. Because remember through air and through liquids, so fluids, convection currents can cause the movement of energy, so heat in this case. Now, replacing the air reduces the convection current effect because the air has now been trapped or been removed from the cavity. Okay, now another important place where you lose Heat is the windows, and of course, I'm sure you're all aware that double glazing, double glazing is a method of reducing this. So it also keeps out noise pollution very well, so it is actually very good having double glazed windows. And so there's not only one type of double glazing, what you have is almost like the cavity wall. If you have these two panes of glass with air in the middle, or let's say a gap in the middle, it could be air, or it could be a vacuum. Now, if it was air, we would still get some convection in there, and so it would be good at reducing the heat loss because the air is a good insulator, but because of convection, it's still not perfect. Better is a vacuum because the vacuum, it reduces conduction because a vacuum acts uh, as an insulator as well, and it reduces convection, whereas the air is only going to reduce conduction because convection currents can uh, occur in the air. Okay, so there are various others as well um, to do with, for example, the door. You have different door frames which could be more airtight and they can stop air from escaping and getting in. Uh, also, you can have aluminium foil behind your radiators, obviously that reflects, so it stops the heat from escaping via the walls. So it reflects the heat back into the room. But now I'd like to move on 
uh, to something known as a u-value. Okay, so u-value. Now the scientific definition for this is quite a mouthful and it is the energy per second which is passing through one square meter, so one meter squared or one square meter of material with temperature difference across it of one degree Celsius. Now that is a mouthful and it sounds a bit weird, but just imagine this square is one meter squared. One meter squared, and this is made of some substance. Uh, we don't care what it is at the moment. Now we're going to be looking at heat traveling this way. So this is in 3D. So heat is going to be traveling from here to behind the square. And so we're going to say that, let's say the temperature here is 15 degrees C. And that means that the temperature in front of the square is 16 degrees C. Because we are told that the temperature difference across it is 1 degree Celsius. So here we have the temperature difference, 1 degree Celsius. We have 1 meter squared. And the U value, the U value is how much energy is traveling from this side to this side every second. And for example, a cavity wall might have a U value of around 1.6. And this is in joules per second per meter squared. And often you'll see that written as watts per meter squared because a watt is a joule per second. Now importantly, of course, we want the best insulators and so the lowest U value is the best. So lowest equals best. If you've got a high U value, it means that you are losing loads of heat through that particular material. And that is, of course, not the best when it comes to insulating. Okay, and so these values are linear. For example, if you had a U value of 3.2, 3.2, I'm just going to use watts per meter squared. That means that this material would be twice as bad as this cavity wall at insulating. So we are losing twice as much heat or twice as much energy through this material, whatever it is, than we are through this cavity wall because 3.2 is double 1.6. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. That was just a brief overview on insulation as a topic. If you do have any questions, please do feel free to send me an email directly using the link below or by posting a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I look forward to seeing you in the next video.